today let's talk about bryophyte classification before that i will give a brief introduction about the general characteristics of bryophytes bryophytes these are very small group of plants there are about 850 genera and 24000 species these are mostly terrestrial these are also called amphibians of plant kingdoms these are grow on terrestrial and which vegetative phase takes place on terrestrial and external water is required for the uh, reproductive phase and uh, this constitute the most simple and primitive group of embryo phyta in this these are uh, these are uh, these are also having means these this group of plants this group of plants grow on terrestrial but they grow mostly in shady and moist places these are having multicellular diploid spores live as a parasite on multicellular haploid gametophyte in this plant they lack the vascular tissue and uh, in this the male reproductive structure having the antheridia and the female reproductive structure having the archegonia in this these are covered by a multi-layered jacket cell which prevents from these structures from dehydration in this main plant of the main plant is gametophyte where the roots are absent and is replaced by rhizoids the plant body except rhizoids having the chloroplast pigment when these rhizoids are exposed to sun they show the presence of chloroplast pigment in which they appear somewhat green in color and uh, mainly the vegetative phase of these plants are very simple but the reproductive phase is oogamous type like that and uh, like that and uh, hmm, external water is required in this in this type the spores all all bryophytes are having homosporous type the spores develop within the capsule and uh, the plant body is mainly differentiated into stem and leaves these leaves are very small and thin and these are surrounding the leaf uh, stems means they are uh, around the spiral around the stem and uh, the the thallus which is attached to the substratum with the help of root like structures called rhizoids and when this uh, this rhizoids helps in the absorption of water and this also helps in the absorption of moisture which is present in the air now let's talk about habitat where these are found, what are their uh, lifestyle, how many uh, variations they show, let's see means these bryophytes these are cosmopolitan, these are present all over the world but in some cases these are not present such as in seas we can't see the bryophytes and in uh, um, they are also not seen in Antarctica and uh, these are found also these are found in mountains where they are also found up to the height of 18,000 feet we can see the bryophytes and uh, let's look what happens in this uh, means these bryophytes are uh, grow mostly in uh, moist and shady places example for this is Markantia Swagnum. Swagnum is considered as one of the best example because these grow in marshy lands where we can see that uh, they are go, grow in uh, moist and shady places and uh, where these, these are also found in uh, epiphytes means these plants grow on the trunks of other trees example for this uh, dendrocerus is the best example and uh, these are uh, bryophytes are also autotrophic and uh, uh, 
uh, saprophytic egg like that. Let's see the classification of bryophytes. Bryophytes are divided into three classes. As I have already mentioned, these are very small group of plants and these are uh, mainly divided into three classes. First one is uh, Hepatipopsida. These are also known as liver words, means their leaves appear like a lobe of a liver and these are also useful in the treatment of liver if they have any problem in liver these leaves are used in the treatment of liver example for this is Rikcha and uh, Markhansia these are the two examples for uh, this and the second one is Anthocyrodopsida also known as Hornworts example for this is Anthocyros and third one is these are um, third one is nothing but uh, Bryopsida also known as mosses this example for this is sphagnum where they form a great these are the three classes and uh, I hope that this video is helpful please subscribe to my channel thank you Thank you.